Hi. Let's learn about the capital market line, CML, and how to calculate it. The capital market line represents portfolios that optimally combine risk and return. It is a theoretical concept that represents all the portfolios that optimally combine the risk-free rate of return and the market portfolio of risky assets. Under the capital asset pricing model, CAPM, all investors will choose a position on the capital market line, in equilibrium, by borrowing or lending at the risk-free rate, since this maximizes return for a given level of risk. Calculating the capital market line is done using the formula, RP equals RF plus slash sigma T sigma P, where RP is the portfolio return, RF is the risk-free rate, RT is the market return, sigma T is the standard deviation of market returns, and sigma P is the standard deviation of portfolio returns. Portfolios that fall on the capital market line optimize the risk-slash-return relationship, thereby maximizing performance. The CML is a special case of the CAL where the risk portfolio is the market portfolio, and the slope of the CML is the sharp ratio of the market portfolio. As a generalization, buy assets if the sharp ratio is above the CML and sell if the sharp ratio is below the CML. The CML should not be confused with the security market line. The SML is derived from the CML and represents the market's risk and return at a given time, showing the expected returns of individual assets. While the risk measure in the CML is the standard deviation of returns, total risk, the risk measure in the SML is systematic risk or beta. Portfolios that fall on the capital market line optimally combine risk and return, maximizing performance. Therefore, investors should buy assets if the sharp ratio is above the CML and sell if the sharp ratio is below the CML. The slope of the CML is the sharp ratio of the market portfolio. The capital allocation line makes up the allotment of risk-free assets and risky portfolios for an investor. CML is a special case of the CAL where the risk portfolio is the market portfolio. As an investor moves up the CML, the overall portfolio risk and returns increase. CML differs from the more popular efficient frontier in that it includes risk-free investments. The efficient frontier is made up of investment portfolios that offer the highest expected return for a specific level of risk. The intercept point of CML and the efficient frontier results in the most efficient portfolio, called the tangency portfolio. The CML is sometimes confused with the security market line. The SML is derived from the CML and represents the market's risk and return at a given time, showing the expected returns of individual assets, while the CML shows the rates of return for a specific portfolio. Here are four key takeaways. 1. The capital market line, CML, represents portfolios that optimally combine risk and return. 2. CML is a special case of the capital allocation line, CAL, where the risk portfolio is the market portfolio. 3. The intercept point of CML and the efficient frontier would result in the most efficient portfolio called the tangency portfolio. 4. As a generalization, buy assets if sharp ratio is above CML and sell if sharp ratio is below CML. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.